two. So that's an example of me playing a song that's too fast for me to play eighth notes. Um, of course, that was Milestones, uh, the, the famous modal tune by Miles Davis. It has two key centers, uh, G minor and A minor. This is not the subject of this video. I want to talk about a couple podcasts that I've been uh, very enthusiastic about for months. I think I... I don't know when I discovered the Happy Hour podcast. Um, it was at some point last year, uh, and I was working a job where I was able to listen to things while I worked and did office work. Um, and I just can't say enough about that particular podcast, the Happy Hour podcast. I'm, let's look at that one first. I'm going to uh, bring it up here on my... Computer. This is audio only as far as I know. There's not a video option for this. Um, and I think because most of the interviews are conducted by phone and so that the interviewee, um, they're not, they're not, a, it's not a Zoom call in other words. So anyway, I got to tell you, um, this podcast is, is full of fantastic, uh, Players, there's one that um, there's a one from March the 11th. Uh, Matthias Heiss, I'm fascinated with him and his amazing virtuoso chromatic harmonica playing, and uh, I can't wait to hear that interview. I haven't heard it yet. Uh, there's two or three. This podcast is a little bit leaning more towards chromatic players than the other podcasts that I'm going to mention. So uh, if you're a chromatic harmonic enthusiast, definitely check out the um, Antonio Serrano interview, uh, one of my favorite players, and also another one of my favorite chromatic jazz players is uh, Gregoire Marais. Those two interviews, uh, then I enjoyed also very much the uh, Hermione, uh, am I saying her last name right, Hermione Derlu interview. Uh, fantastic uh, jazz chromatic harmonica player. Um, and I'm sure I, oh, the Robert Bonfilio interview was fantastic. Um, and I, I listened to, you know, I'm, oh, this one is great. The Jim Hughes interview was fantastic. He was a, a he's a British chromatic player who uh, played a lot on TV show themes and uh, did a lot of work for the BBC and was in the studios constantly. Interesting player in that uh, people didn't hire him to improvise. He was a guy who could just read music really well. And something that I was working on and I was inspired by him, him and Tommy Morgan, I was inspired by like, you know, maybe someday I could be in a studio orchestra playing harmonica parts. I think that people are, are have stopped arranging for the harmonica because there's because maybe they're not thinking about it, but maybe there's not enough of us that can read music. So uh, anyway, I found if you're ever feeling stuck and you need some inspiration, I mean, here's 
Here's a book from my library, Harmonica Harps and Heavy Breathers. Um, I read this book probably three or four times, but this podcast is is more of the same. It's it's interviews with just top level players, and uh, it's very inspiring and it makes you want to practice. Um, so uh, let's talk about my other podcast that I really enjoy, and that is Jamie Gardner's um, Jamie Gardner's Harp Slinger podcast. This one is leaning a little bit more towards diatonic harmonica and um, just a fantastic list of players. And Jamie is, a, is an awesome, he does an awesome job. He's just such a great host. Um, and he's like, he's kind of like a good psychologist in that he starts with childhood. He always asks each of the players, oh, tell me what it was like in your home growing up. And what were the musical influences going on in the home? And that's always that's always a fascinating thing. Uh, so just take a look here at the uh, the list of cats that he's interviewing. Um, he's got Adam Gusso, uh, Jelly Roll, um, Mickey Raphael, Tim Gonzalez, a lot of Nashville guys. Of course, Jamie is here in Nashville too, uh, and. Um, I'm re I, I don't know if I'm ready for my interview, Jamie. I don't know if I'm ready yet. It's trying to get to a place in my career where things are more exciting. Um, but, um, I gave Jamie a, a, at least one harmonica lesson. If, I think it was 2005 or six that, um, I met Jamie and showed him some things in the upper register of the harmonica. I remember that. Anyway, uh, I don't know if Jamie remembers me, but um, uh, like I said, he's a, a fantastic host. And I think in all of these interviews on this podcast here, this one is video based. You can find it here on YouTube. Um, in all the interviews, I just get a sense from the players that they're like, oh, finally, I can talk about my favorite subject. And you're asking all the right questions. And so there's a lot of passion and um, a lot of joy in the podcast. And, and Jamie's very personable. He's able to pull out a lot of great stories and information uh, from each of these players. So those are my two favorite harmonica podcasts. And... Um, in the process of, of researching these podcasts, I was reminded that Mark Hummel also has a uh, his own podcast that is called Mark Hummel's Harmonica Party. Now, apparently he has an album or a song with the same title, so just don't confuse the, the two things. Here's uh, Here it is on YouTube, Mark Hummel's Harmonica Party. I listened to one of these months ago, but so I'm not really prepared to talk about uh, this podcast, but I'm sure it's great. I am a big Mark Hummel fan. His blues playing on diatonic and chromatic and, and his whole thing that he's contributed to the harmonica community is fantastic by, by doing those events with all the harp players. Uh, so I'm sure this one is great. Um, uh, then I stumbled across, doing my research, a blog post titled Best 10 Harmonica Podcasts. Number one on the list here of the best 10 best harmonica podcasts is uh, the first one I mentioned, the Happy Hour Harmonica Podcast. Uh, here's one called Harpin' with Harpo, which I I have not, I don't know anything about it. I'm gonna, I haven't had a chance to look at that. The Harmonica Lady. Fascinating. I get to check out what does the Harmonica Lady have to say. And then number four is Mark Hummel's Harmonica Party that I mentioned. Um, Tomlin's Harmonica Podcast. Uh, uh, what a great teacher. I'm sure the podcast is fascinating. Uh, and then one of my favorite cats here, Ivanek Prene from New York City by way of Paris. Uh, what a fantastic and amazing and jaw-dropping jazz harmonica player. I I did 
have the opportunity to, uh, I can't say that I studied with him. I'll just say that it was a lesson. It was about a 90 minute lesson. And, um, and he showed me the ropes, uh, how he works on his jazz harmonica skills. Um, number seven, the reed plate. Uh, I have, oh, it's, it's Lee Sankey. Yeah. What a fantastic diatonic harmonica player. I'm sure that's a good one. So I'm going to be checking out these new ones beyond my two favorite ones. Uh, and why does it only go to seven? That's interesting. The 10 best harmonica podcasts, but I'm only going to tell you seven of them. So interesting. Uh, anyway, I hope everybody's doing well. I, um, I do have a, a couple of new harmonica courses on the website. If you didn't know, um, I have volume one is up, of course. Um, and I completed volume two, and then I completed a, a third product that is not volume three, um, but it is uh, a collection. Yeah, I go through this book right here. I play all 70 songs in this book, and, um, and then I talk about kind of the mechanics of playing the song, and um, so I demonstrate all the songs, and I use those as teaching teachable moments to talk about a few things related to chromatic harmonica technique. The best way to learn the chromatic harmonica, I think, is to play songs. You could play uh, simple melodies on up to uh, uh, jazzy kind of songs, anything to get you pushing and pulling air through the harmonica in a musical way. Uh, so yes, scales and arpeggios um, beyond that, playing songs. And so this is, I mean, these are old, 100-year-old songs, you know, campfire kind of songs. However, it does get you playing, and I was challenged by the material putting it together. And I, I'm a better harmonica player after going through that book. I will tell you that much. Uh, anyway, I will talk to you guys later. Uh, please check out Happy Hour Harmonica Podcast and uh, Jamie's uh, Harp Slinger podcast, and check out Mark Hummel's Harmonica Party, check out the Harmonica Lady and, and uh, Lee Sankey's podcast, and the, the seven that are in this list right here. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.